Hi, Danielle here with Scrapbook Maven. I have another uh, Graphic 45 Design Team project to share with you today. This one is using the Gilded Lily collection and I've done my mini album in a box using their mixed media 5x5 box in ivory and um, several people asked how I um, turned my Raining Cats and Dogs mini album box into a mini album um, so I've gone ahead and did a tutorial when I made this one so if you keep watching uh, towards the end of the video I'll have a tutorial so if you're interested in that keep watching so for this one um, I popped up some of the chipboard pieces on top of this wood frame and then added some keyholes and these little graphic 45 keys and some more chipboard pieces here and then just layered up some of the flowers that I fussy cut to um, add some more flowers around the front and then this is actually a 4x6 cut apart actually there's two of them from the 12x12 paper and I just um, did some surgery and cut it out so that it fit this 5x5 five five, um, top here. And then I have plain sides, just the stripes. I love vertical stripes. And then the back here for the spine is the Gilded Lily. This is from the 12x12, 12 12, I mean, excuse me, the 8x8 eight eight paper pad. So I used the 8x8 eight eight paper pad, a few sheets of the 12x12. 12 12. I think most of my fussy cutting came from the 12x12. 12 12. And um, just a few sheets of the 6x6. Six six. I could have gotten away without using it. And then the front here, I have the, the shabby chic door pull. And then I love how the box is already magnetized for you. So then we just open it up. And then we have our mini album inside. And then I use the pockets and tags from the collection. This is my first time using the these uh, from Graphic 45. And um, I really love them. They're already made uh, tags for you with their little corresponding envelopes. Add another tag behind here. And then did some fussy cutting. And then here we have the first page. Each of these boxes come with six tags. And so for my mini albums, this one and the Raining Cats and Dogs, I used four of the tags. And then I had two left over. So for this album, I did use all six, but I still have four pages, and I'll show you later what I did with them. So here I have a little frame for a photo. This is one of the 4x6 cutouts uh, cut down, and then I just have this white piece here as a um, photo mat or like a template for your photo, so it comes right out. And then we flip it over to this next page. We have a little pocket here with the cut up cutouts from the, the 8x8 paper pad. And then this is what I did with um, the extra um, tags that came with the uh, box. I made a little flap here. And so here on the front, I used a keyhole. I didn't use any magnets on the pages. And the keyholes add a nice little embellishment as well as a little bit of weight to the flap. So it, it stays closed really well. And then tuck behind is one of the cut aparts and then I just added a little white photo mat for journaling or a photo and then you can put of course another photo right there and then we just open up the flap and we have a little sticker here with a pocket and one of the cutouts and then another frame from the 12 by 12 paper and this is as well comes out as a template and then a little fussy cut chair and then I left it open right here for a little pocket for another photo mat or journaling tag. And then we flip it over here, another large space for a photo. And this um, can come out um, for a template or the photo mat. And then we have another pocket right here for the cut aparts. I just love this one. I love how um, dimensional it looks. And then I just layered up some of the banners from the banner page and then uh, from the main page this um, thing. This I believe is from the 12 by 12 and this part is from the 8 by 8. And another page here with a large photo chipboard piece and the shabby chic ornate brads. I just love the little brads. And then a fussy cut out flower here and then another page using the sorry extra um, tag that came with the box and so this is another tag that you can put a photo in and then 
opens up for another little frame with a photo spot, another photo spot here, and then another pocket. And then the last page is here. We have, I just added a piece from the pockets and tags, and then I left it popped up so that you can put your photo behind there, and then another photo spot here with a chipboard piece and a shabby chic brad, and then that gorgeous Marie Antoinette, and then just for the inside lined it with the banner page. So that is my mini album in a box, and if you're interested in making one yourself, uh, stay tuned. Okay, to make the mini album, the box mini album, you're gonna need a Graphic 45 5x5 mixed media box. This one is in ivory. They come in black and craft as well. So, and it has a nice magnet closure, which is really fun. And then it comes with six tags. And I use these as my pages for the mini album. And I use four for my album. It fits really nicely, especially with if you're gonna add some embellishments. So I'm gonna set uh, four of these aside for the album. And then to create our box cover, you're gonna need some scissors and an X-Acto knife, depending on how difficult um, it is, if it cooperates with you. So what we're gonna need to do first is remove this piece right here of the box. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut along this piece and see, and it just kind of fell apart right there, just very easily. And then we're just gonna do it to the other side. And now we need to cut along here. And so I usually use my X-Acto blade for this. And just cut along here. And you don't wanna to cut too far in. You don't wanna cut the spine of our cover here. I just wanna be able to get this guy off. I'm just going to go very slowly and softly. I have a knack for cutting the tip of my blade off like breaking it off so it's not as sharp as it should be. But there we go, we took that piece off and then we're left with this like that. And so that would be our mini album uh, cover slash box. You're left with some raw edges. For my black one, for my raining cats and dog one, um, I had some uh, black, I actually peeled some of this paper off, it was kind of tedious and um, it's, it's really thin paper, so I was able to glue that on around the corners. But for my other album, the side uh, design paper that I use, you just wrap it around the edge, and then it covers the raw edge right here. And then this edge right here, you can cover up with more design paper. And what I do is I kind of separate this, it's a two separate pieces, so you have this, whole piece right here and then you have the box piece. So what I like to do is very carefully, sometimes it cooperates and comes up apart easier, but sometimes it's difficult. And I like to separate it a little bit and this is completely optional. You can use washi tape and just cover it up or anything similar to that. But what I like to do is whatever paper I have here, I wrap it around and under here and glue it under so it's like wrapped around. So I like to lift this up a little bit and separate this without breaking it. And that should be good enough 
So let's say this is our design paper. We're going to wrap, like, tuck it in here. So glue, tuck, and then have it glued, of course, and then wrap it around like that to cover up your raw edges. That's what I like to do. If you want to do something else, that's perfectly um, fine. So that's how we get the main box ready. So now for the binding, uh, the binding of our pages. For four pages, which I like to do for this, the album, I think it fits really nicely, is get a piece of cardstock. Normally I match the cardstock to my pages. So um, usually I'm making the pages. So if I had ivory or craft, I'd use um, ivory or craft for my binding. But we're gonna use the inserts for the media box. And I thought I'd do something a little different. I cut a piece of the six by six paper. I like the crown, so I'm gonna use that. And your piece for your binding for four pages would be four inches by three and three eighths of an inch. So you can either use a design paper or plain. And the reason why I cut this four inches and these tags are four and a half is that they have rounded edges, as you can see. And I like to keep the rounded edges as opposed to cutting them off. And so I like to have it so that when you put the binding in, you're still gonna see the rounded edge. So that's why I do it like that. You can do it however you want. You can increase the size to just under four and a half inches to match the tag um, if you like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our piece of cardstock, and so we have our four inch piece going down and then three and three eighths across. And so now for every three eighths of an inch, we are going to score. So one, two, three, and score. And it's a little harder to see the score lines with the design paper, but it'll look really cute after. So another three eighths. And all the way down the length of your cardstock. Okay, and so now I think I cut mine just a little short, so I have a small little flap here, but I'll make it work. So now we're just going to fold on all our score lines. I guess I could have scored on the more solid side, I would have been able to see it better. Oops. This first one is our flat that we're going to attach a page to. And then we have a spacing. And then we're going to fold this score line up. See what we're creating. And we'll keep folding that until we get that one back. Some little mountains we have so we have two folded peaks up like that and then two flaps on the ends this one and this one so that's for four pages and so what we're going to do is put some score tape here to attach the um, pages together the little binding together so on the third one in we're going to add some score tape And it'll connect to the fourth 
3 8 spacing. And so now we have two little flaps, four, five, six. And so on the six 3 8 spacing, we're going to add some more score tape and connect it to the next one over the seventh spacing. And there we have our binding for our pages. And so I'm going to go ahead and add the pages on. So as score tape to just one side, these aren't pocket pages, so we're not going to put the page over the flap. So you only need the score tape on the one side. There's one page. I'm going to attach it to the back side. That way. So attaching it to the back side here, you'll be able to line up your pages a little better than what I was doing. There we go. And then for our last page on the back side, we'll it again on the back side, sorry, there was a fly. So now we have all our pages attached. So what I recommend is attaching your pages to the right side of the flap, like this one and this one. That way you can easier, um, easily line them up a bit better when you're adhering them. So that is a tip. So now they're all lined up nicely, beautifully. And then here's the back of your binding. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to put some glue, whether it's wet glue or your score tape. And after you're done decorating, that's when I recommend to um, put it into your box. Don't do it while you're decorating, otherwise um, these will get in the way. So you're just going to put your glue there and then you're going to line it up. If you can put pattern paper there if you like. And then line it up in the middle between these and side to side. Here you want even spacing. And then attach your binding like that and then you're all set. Sometimes if I add tags or little um, decorations that come up over the edge, you might want to just scoot it down just a little bit. You wanna make sure it still fits into your box when the pages are down. But um, you can just scoot it down just a little bit to allow just a bit more room up here. They're pretty, it's pretty tight in there, so you're not going to want to decorate your pages with too much that are, that is um, sticking out. So that's how you're going to do it. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.